I think the future of innovation, I think, is uh, more distributed. I think that we, uh, collaborative innovation is, is, I think, the future. And, and to some extent, innovation has always been collaborative. I mean, for a long time, there's been all these wonderful Hollywood stories, you know, about Steve Jobs or Thomas Edison or, you know, fill in the blank as the sort of lone innovator, the, you know, the, 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 like the artist in the garret, do you know what I mean, slaving over their hot idea. Um, but the reality is far from that. Um, you know, it's always been about collaboration. And I think that the, the, the leaders of these organizations, really their role is to uh, orchestrate or lead in a sense from behind. It's like a Nelson Mandela quote, actually. He talks about the shepherd leading his uh, flock. And I wouldn't <laughs> suggest for a second that fellow innovators are sheep. <laughs> That'd be horrible. Um, but what but the point he's making is about that sort of leading from behind. So in the sense that the leader of an organization may be the one that is suggesting, okay, we the, the purpose of our business, you know, the purpose beyond profit, is what I mean, um, is in, in this direction. And so leadership is about, you know, bringing together a community of people who can innovate around that purpose, rather than the sort of 20th century type model, which was a sort of command and control, um, which was really building a community that could execute. I mean, execution is important, of course, it's a, it's a given, but we need to build communities that can work together, that can innovate together.